and welcome to episode four of the postgrad diaries i want to start this vlog off by first thanking princess polly for sponsoring this video and showing you guys a haul of things that i am so excited about obviously from princess polly if you guys didn't know princess polly offers shop pay and after pay to all u.s customers also princess polly does ship from within the united states and princess polly also offers three to six day standard shipping on all orders over 50 us dollars you guys can use my code 20 lexi for 20 percent off and let me show you what i got i'm gonna start with what i'm wearing right now i mean i did like a try on portion already but i am wearing this gorgeous black sundress i think this is one of those pieces that's going to be super fun to style as a transitional piece into fall as well and i love this dress so much i love it that it ties in the back it's such a comfortable piece obviously something that you could dress up or dress down i love wearing dresses all the time so i would just wear this to go and run errands but i would also dress this up for a really nice dinner date somewhere and yeah you just can't go wrong with the black maxi dress i've been wanting like a loose fitting black maxi dress and this is that of my dreams i love it next up staying on theme with the black i did not try this on because i just didn't want to try on a bathing suit on camera um but this super cute bathing suit it is a one piece and it can be tied in a couple of different ways i love the little like cutout right here i think it's going to be super flattering on i'm so excited i feel like now that i'm maturing i'm definitely gravitating towards more one pieces they're just so comfortable and honestly i feel like a lot of one pieces are even sexier than bikinis a lot of the time this is my first ever piece of swimwear from princess polly and the quality is like amazing i got this in my regular size a size six and of course we'll have everything with my sizes linked down below in the description box for you guys just for reference next up i got this adorable pink skirt set so it comes with this like pink bandeau top it's just this really really pretty bubblegum pink i feel like when you think of pink this is the color pink you think of you know and the great thing about it is it does come with adjustable straps so you could just take one strap and wear it as like a halter if you wanted to or you can do two straps and wear it in a more traditional way or you can wear it strapless so that's like three different looks right there which is amazing the top also has a zipper in the back which is very nice and it's also stretchy so it's super easy to put on by yourself that's always something that i'm concerned about because sometimes i just don't have people around to help me put clothes on and then the skirt is absolutely amazing just a matching skirt it is a midi length but on me it goes all the way down which i don't mind um and yeah i love it so much i'm super excited to style it with these shoes actually something about princess polly their footwear is going to be comfortable i do not own i own a lot of footwear from princess polly there has not been one time where i put on a princess polly shoe and it's been the slightest bit of uncomfortable if anything they're the most comfortable shoes i own and i got these white sandals they have a little bit of a platform which you guys know i like i'm short so i like a little bit of a boost here and there but these are so comfortable literally feel like just like pillows that you walk in so i'm excited to style this with honestly all the pieces that i'm showing you guys in this haul but especially this pink set i think it's going to be so fun with like a white bag that i also have from princess polly just so so cute and summery love that i have my little like spin the night bag packed already and the next two pieces are already packed and i don't want to take them out but i do have of course the try on portion to show you guys so you guys will be able to see them on the first piece is this knit tube top and i styled it with these white linen blend cargo pants these pants just like this combination is amazing it's so cute i honestly think that i might end up packing this and then wearing that outfit instead just because i love i just love it all so much i love the flow and the ease of the linen look of the pants but then again i like that it's juxtaposed with the cargo pockets for a little bit of an edgier look and the knit tube top is just amazing don't have to wear a bra with it which you guys know if i don't have to wear a bra with something it's coming home with me that is like the main criteria of anything that i purchase i don't like wearing bras so there we go but it holds the little bit of the girls that i have up very very nicely which i'm happy about and yeah i just love it so much all these pieces once again amazing quality you guys aren't surprised prince polly never lets us down and last but not least i already have this backpack too so it has a bunch of stuff in it holds so much stuff i got this tote bag this black tote bag i'm not going to be using it for work for school when i go back to grad school just traveling everything and it's by one of my favorite brands that princess polly sells and just so you guys know how obsessed i am with these bags that princess polly has on their site i literally have like the shoulder bag version of this and i carry it 
pretty much every single day and now i have the tote bag i'm so excited once again thank you so much to princess polly for sponsoring this video i've been working with princess polly for like four years now which is like that's so nuts and i'm so so grateful that i'm still able to work with them they are just the epitome of my personal style so it's always a treat and without any further ado let's get into this vlog okay you guys cool. so <laughs> <laughs> my mom just screamed my name to come downstairs so i came downstairs <laughs> and basically she placed a sephora order you know how sephora always does those what are they called the sephora favorites the sephora favorites right the and sephora so now. she was supposed to get one in her package right she got two they actually sent her two so that means i get one and so we're about to open this together oh my gosh they're selling out because it's four let them know it's four full-size things the brand new full-size <gasps> no. And the rear. I can't believe I'm holding this in my hand. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, this is gorgeous. You guys know, like I was saying in my, I think it was my graduation vlog that I love this and I have the little teeny tiny mini one. I have a full size now. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite color too. All right, what's next, what's next? The next full size item is the Lawless. The Lawless? Uh -huh, blush. Oh, I see. That everyone's raving and about. And bubble wrap and everything, That's huh? So, and that is so beautiful. Everyone's raving about that Oh my gosh, color. here it is, y'all. It was here sold it out during the Sephora VIB sale. Oh, this is very pretty. Mm-hmm. This is very pretty. And you Do guys know, I, I'm not, I don't want to swatch it. I want it to be nice and new. Oh, okay, but. Oh my gosh. And you know what? Things are great, but they're even better when they're free. <laughs> no, <laughs> what if they see this and they, they make us send it back? Uh, they have shorted me stuff before. Remember? Oh, you're right. I you're right. I didn't Gucci fragrance that okay. they sent me, and I never even called. So. Next is? I've never tried that, and I've wanted Ooh, to buy it. The, this is perfect. The Rare Beauty I've been spray. needing, like, a travel size yeah. spray, you know? This is nice right here, and the I rare love Rare Beauty. Beauty. Spray. You got the full-size Patrick Tom. I was going to oh, buy that. Oh, this is pretty. That's Look at rare, this. That's the Patrick Tom. Hold on. Full see. size. This is very nice. What color is that? Look at that. And it's nice and it feels oh like oh nice. that's nice yeah that's that's real I love nice Patrick, yeah I bought that. that's Which, really what color nice is that one is this cc uh, oh oh because i i have oh i want to see next up is the glow recipe watermelon mm. glow niacinamide dew drops okay oh, I love glow recipe okay we got three more things we have the milk Let's see, that's cc's i have oh that's the one i've been wanting they've been out of it at our sephora yep that's cc that's the one i kept going back for Yes. Oh, okay. I'm so excited. Um, I don't think this is going to be deep enough for me. So you can it's have gonna this. It's going to be nice for... Um, not for me. It's giving matches my skin tone. I think it's nice. But that's okay. You it's have nice to... for like doing like your nails so you want it to be so deep. No, I, I, I like it to be a little deeper. Oh, okay. So, so I have two now. You have two. You have two. Oh, well, thank you. And then we have ooh, a nice little small mascara from Ilia Cosmetics. Ooh. And this is perfect because my brows are starting to grow out and I don't want to pay oh, to get them done. Oh, the Anastasia the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Brow freeze. Yes. yes. Wow. Oh my god. $161 value. She was like yelling. She was like, Lexi, come here. Because I went here. online to look. I said, I know I didn't order two. Did I make a mistake? Did I pay $100? <gasps> That's so funny. And no, this love. is really nice. I love this. You're gonna oh, love all wow. you're gonna want the other one because I have oh. Oh my gosh, this is great. And then the the, the full size summer Friday. Who is she? Who is yeah, she? I know. I mean that this yeah. is like look that and that's that's pretty much pays for itself in that movie. yeah wow. wow so exciting this is the it best is. thing that's and, happened and to us in a while this is what the, the no it's wait <laughs> this is the best thing that's happened to us in a while <laughs> low-key right <laughs> this is what i was getting y'all our I, ac went out oh god yes it's been crazy oh my lips are tingling yeah, i told you it's a little pumping you didn't tell me that i just said it everyone when you go to edit this, plumping gloss. It's nice. And it's nice. And it feels oh. like plumping. It's oh, that's nice. And it's nice. And it feels oh. plumping. Oh, that's nice. Guys, look at the little plump plump on your lips. Ooh. I don't think it actually does anything. It just yeah, it does now. It looks a little plump plump. I like it. I like, <laughs> I like that tingle. <laughs> now, if it was that. 
go ahead and say it. The Two Face, the Two Face well, injection. In case they wanted to sponsor something. Well, Two Face, I love the concealer. I love everything love else. But that, but that injection, injection <laughs> you trying to like send they, people to the I hospital? Like took a plunger and sucked it. Literally, <laughs> literally, and then went over it with a hot iron. Oh my God. But yeah, so this is the new vitamin C. This is okay. Let me stop this. Hold on. <laughs> I'm here with Miriam, guys. Yes. We're at a TikTok restaurant, yes. Bastogne. Yes. Best okay. Stone. Here we are. We've been waiting. We've been waiting for this. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. My get your content, little... babe. Get your content. <laughs> So, oh, that was such a crazy greeting. Hi guys, let me be cute about it, right? Um, I just got done with a four hour job interview. Mm -hmm. Um, And do I have a room next to mine that is basically just my apartment reincarnated with a 50 inch flat screen TV? Absolutely, but something something needs to be healed inside of me after that interview, which I think it went well, but it was it was a doozy, okay? And it just there's nothing like sitting in your bed with the risk of staining your white duvet covers and eating a cava bowl. And and even though I have a 50 inch TV approximately five feet away from me, I will be watching on my uh, laptop my show of choice, which I need to figure out what it's gonna be. And this is going to be my day today. The interview was from 9 to 1. And it is 1.40. And I'm tired. And I'm hungry. And I don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> I don't want to talk to anybody. I want to see no sunlight. Mm -mm, that's why the blinds are closed. And this is, this is how I'll be spending the rest of my day. So, cheers. Hello, beautiful people. <clears throat> I am headed to the beach. It was kind of a last minute trip um, and literally did not know that I was going to the beach until last night. So we got about a five hour ride ahead of us. I'm going with my mom, kind of meet up with my god mom and my god brother. Yeah, yeah they, 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 I don't think they ever gave them for a thousand. Oh, how do they do? Okay. Hi, you guys. Hi. I'm with my baby god brothers, Carter and Parker. You guys want to say hi? Hi, pals. Hi. I'm not showing them for their privacy and their minors, and we're not going to exploit minors, but they're the coolest guys in the world. Aren't you guys so yeah, cool? Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell them something cool about yourself. Carter, um, you go first. I'm not dealing yet, but I will be dealing soon. Period, period. And Parker? I'm the next Michael Jordan. Okay, I love the sound of that. So, see, I told you guys they're cool. We just got, what did we get? Mango? Uh, uh, green or Mango? Or mango, definitely. <laughs> mango, ice, mango, dragon fruit. I don't know. We got this drink from Starbucks. My earrings just fell, so I'm paying back busting. in. Yeah, you got you rated an eight. Parker rated a nine and a half, right? Yeah. Very, very good. We're going to Adventure Island, and we're gonna play some games. And you, we're gonna bring you guys along. It's gonna be so fun. You guys ready to go in? Yes, yeah. go. All right, let's go. Hey okay, guys, I look a little crusty, but I'm in Bucky's right now. This is my second time in here. I came on the way like to Alabama, and now we're leaving. And when I, like, I've seen her on TikTok, this place is literally insane. Like, there's just so many people walking around. It's basically, like, a giant gas station and a convenience store. Like, and I'm just going to show you. Okay, so I lost my mom, and I was like, oh, where is she? And I was like, I'm sitting next to beef jerky. And she was like, I'm sitting next to beef jerky. Why is she on the other side of the, the Bucky's? Cause there's beef jerky everywhere. Bucky, I guess. Okay, I know I'm like kind of crapping on this place, but why do I want a t-shirt? Like I want a t-shirt so bad. I might get a t-shirt. I cannot make this crap up, you guys. Like, 
It just keeps going. Ooh. Hey, you're coming home with me. This feels like a literal fever dream. Like, literal, a literal fever dream. There's literally everything in here. Like, everything. I am back in the car from Bucky's and I'm gonna do a little haul. We got some cinnamon glazed almonds, cinnamon glazed pecans, two three meat sandwiches which have sausage, brisket, and smoked turkey on them. Oh my gosh, look how big it is, wow. I love meat on a stick. So I got some, I think it's just a sausage on a stick with a tortilla. I got a coconut pie in a cup and my mom got two banana breads and I got some Bucky's shorts to give as a gift and I also got this Bucky's t-shirt and I got it in an extra 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 large and I'm gonna wear it as a dress it's like Bucky's on tour and I think it just shows like all of the locations they have them at and when they opened so yeah it's so overwhelming in there oh my mom also got a cup and you guys know I love wiener dogs so I got this wiener dog keychain I'm gonna put it on my keys. I'm so excited. Hey, you guys, I just made it back, as you can tell. And I definitely want to do this Q&A portion of the video. So I said we just go ahead and get into it. Sometimes I literally forget that I'm legal drinking age. <laughs> and so we're gonna spice up this Q&A with my favorite wine of all time so far. I have many more years to try many more wines. But this is my current favorite wine. It's the Jam Jar Sweet Blush. It's a rosé, sparkling rosé. And she's fabulous, I love her so much. So, I'm gonna do a nice generous pour since I was in the car for 10 hours over the span of two days. Cheers, my loves, and let's get into the Q&A. I look so crusty, dusty, and rusty, but we are currently getting a plumbing issue fixed in our house right now, and it's gonna take a while for it to get fixed, so I can't shower and wash my hair like I was planning on doing as soon as I got home, so that kind of sucks a little bit. But we're gonna answer the questions, we're gonna have a good time anyway, and you guys are just gonna ignore my appearance thank you in advance so i'm actually going to do another q a in my next postgrad diaries episode i don't know why i said episode like that is i asked you for questions a few weeks ago and then i also asked you for questions yesterday so i'm going to do the questions that i asked you guys for a couple weeks ago um so yeah we got some good questions here as you guys can tell so let's get into it where do you see yourself going next right now as you guys know if you've seen previous episodes of this series i am job searching right now i'm trying to get into the public relations industry um so i would start off doing something like a, like a public relations coordinator role um work my way up to like an account manager and become a public relations specialist eventually so that's the path i'm on right now it could always change um and i feel like i've been really hard on myself with the whole job search thing i literally graduated two months ago and i feel like i'm freaking out like the world is ending because i don't have my big girl job yet but i'm super super grateful to still have youtube as a stream of revenue so that's been great um and yeah so that's that's where i see myself going next why don't you start a podcast about life after grad i think that would be a really good idea i feel like i need to get my footing as a person who is post-grad a little more before i start an official podcast um but i might introduce that into the year of 2024 that might be a good idea i love that someone's uh what you gotta say to your haters now that you've graduated i graduated <laughs> like i don't know can you still do week and day in my life vlogs oh this is so sweet i actually got a comment that broke my heart a little bit my camera's about to die so i'm gonna have to change the battery so if the camera angle changes that's why but i got a comment that broke my heart a few weeks ago and it was talking about how like I don't want to watch your channel anymore because you're not posting like college content and it's just like I get it but like I'm not gonna force myself to continue to talk about a part of my life that I'm no longer in so I really hope you guys are enjoying the postgrad diary series and just like my postgrad content and me being open and honest with you guys about things I'm feeling what I'm doing interviews stuff like that and also just like a sprinkle of just like my life outside of job searching and stuff like that so i feel like this series is giving me a good balance and i hope you guys feel that way too and i know that my views have been down but i really do appreciate every single one of you guys who have stayed tuned it means a lot so yeah um these are basically going to be the vlogs that you will you will be seeing on my channel um for at least the next year or so so yeah 
settle in stay tuned if you want to if you don't that's okay just don't leave a mean comment <laughs> like the other person did but thank you so much for your question what are you most excited about for this next chapter and what will you miss most about college i am super excited about just maintaining the growth that i accumulated in my last year of college specifically when it came to living on my own and having my own space and just being able to finally fully live in the independence that i've had and i've also realized now with something new in my life that i am hyper independent especially emotionally so like i've told you guys in previous vlogs of this series i am in therapy i am actively working on not just maintaining but continuing my journey of growth and healing um and so that that's been really really great for me um so i definitely miss the independence aspect what i don't miss is paying rent okay i do not miss paying rent it's so nice to be back home it's basically like this room is basically like my apartment like as you guys can tell and so and then i have my other room which is like my bedroom and so it's like i feel like i'm i'm still like physically like i have my own space you know um but i do miss my friends of course i miss being in a walkable place uh, i was telling a friend of mine that well that was a future question, not a friend of mine. We'll get into it. Um, I was telling him that I feel like people love college so much because it's the first time, specifically like um, people from the US love college so much because it's the first time they're in like a walkable place in their life. And I definitely miss that for sure. So that's the biggest thing that I miss. Oh my gosh, the next question is that relationship. I am in a relationship, you guys, it's new um and it's going really well and i wanted to continue going well um and i'm happy yeah i'm in a relationship if my boyfriend is watching this hi <laughs> how did you know a gap year was for you i wouldn't really call this a gap year um i was just having a conversation with my god brother um because i was telling him i'm gonna start looking into master's programs soon and he was like don't <laughs> and i was just like I might consider that. I definitely will get a master's degree, but it's just going to depend on what kind of job I land and how I feel about it and everything like that. But I will definitely be getting a master's degree. I know a lot of people say, the longer you wait to go back to school, it's like the less likely you're going to go back to school. Whatever. If it's, if it's something that I want, I'm going to get it. Like, I don't care how long it takes me. So whatever not to be sassy to you question asker i'm so sorry um but not necessarily a gap year i would right now my plan is to start grad school in either fall of 2024 or winter of 2025 um but it's like that's kind of like my plan not even a backup plan but that's just like a something to do i don't even know how to explain it right now my priority is like finding a job and getting professional experience so yeah, that's why I didn't rush and go straight into a master's program, which I was very tempted to do because I was very scared of just feeling the way that I do now, which is I feel like a rite of passage for people post-grad. A lot of my friends who went straight into master's programs kind of only went because they were scared of like not knowing what to do in the real world and like having to look for a job. And so I felt like I wanted to just like face that head on rather than wait around and then do a two-year master's program and then have to do this at like 24, 25 rather than 21, 22. Also, I feel like having professional students will help me get into a more desirable master's program for what I want to study as well. Um, any tips for the post-grad job hunting you tell me i'm just kidding um i would say stay consistent um, make sure your written materials are good have people look over them i have gotten an exceptional amount of interviews um which really validates that like my resume and my portfolio those are both really great and also my cover letters are doing a pretty good job so it's been great to land interviews and i've also gotten to the final round of most of the interviews that i've been offered um and i was told like once you get to the final round they're not necessarily interviewing you for the job they're just interviewing for your personality see if you're a good fit and that's just the luck of the draw so i feel like you know it's working for me so far but yeah just like work on your resume um less is more when it comes to your resume and yeah that's all i got i i, I don't have my big girl job yet so i'm, I'm not going to just give advice <laughs> and tell you this is how you get a job because if that were the case i would have a job right now i would i would i know it's fairly new but any undergrad regrets I wish I let loose more earlier on 
um i'm not gonna lie like i know in my past videos like i was like oh my gosh duh i don't go to parties because i'm a third um and partying wasn't like life when i started to but it's just like it was something to do it was something fun i feel like i could have met more people for sure um and i also wish that i uh stopped athletics sooner because that's when I was the happiest. I was very unhappy as an athlete at my institution for some very specific reasons that maybe we'll get into in another video. Okay, yeah, my, my camera died, which you guys knew was going to, so sorry for the angle change. But next question is hardest part of post-grad. This is a really great question. I would say the hardest part of post-grad is not comparing yourself to other people, uh, not even the people that you graduated, graduated with, but on social media, like the people your age, um because of course like the algorithm knows that you <laughs> probably just graduated if you're active on social media and it's showing you like job searching stuff interviewing tips and also like people landing their first jobs and doing like oh day with me as a recent grad working my nine to five in this really awesome city in the industry that i always wanted to work in that can be really hard because it's just like wow like this is exactly what i'm trying to do and i'm not there yet um and also even for the people that you might have graduated with some people were able to land jobs very very easily without the struggle of a job search and sometimes that can be not frustrating um not like anger or jealousy inducing but it can just make you feel like you need to like run on your hamster wheel a little faster um, but I feel like I'm getting closer to accepting that like everybody's on their own timeline it's okay I know I'm putting in an honest amount of work I know what's gonna be for me is for me what's not is not um, and so yeah therapy has been very helpful for me in that regard and I would also say my whole entire life I've been a pretty good student I've also been an athlete that competed at a very 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 high level and so this is the first time in my life where I am not actively accomplishing something and I realized that if I didn't catch this sooner and if I wasn't aware of it my self-worth all of my self-worth would have come from basically a job or like whatever it was that I was accomplishing. And so I think that this time is maybe universally sent to me by whatever higher power you want to recognize. I feel like this time has been needed for me to like slow down and reassess and see who I am outside of being a student, outside of having been an athlete, outside of you know just all of the things that i've been my whole life um and so i feel like yeah even though i feel very antsy and anxious and i get really sad sometimes and i really want my big girl job and i know i'm going to be so great in the work world and everything i think in a few years if not several years if not a few months i will look back on this time and be very grateful that i was able to sit in my awareness and work through not allowing a specific element of my life to dictate my self-worth. How do you maintain a schedule slash be productive now that your days aren't as structured with school? This is really great. I actually, the past couple of weeks, I abandoned my schedule because my mental health was taking a hit. Um, I will read you guys my Google Calendar, and this is what I was doing until like maybe the last two weeks. 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. workout, and then take a break, get ready, breakfast, all that, and then from 9.30 to 12 p.m. Uh, job search, follow-ups, all that good stuff. Uh, take a break from 12 to 1.30 to eat lunch, hang out, whatever, and then film from 1.30 to 3.30 and edit or do tie any loose ends for the rest of the day and then by 7.30 go for an evening walk. So I've like had my schedule planned out um, and I'm definitely going to get back on my schedule, probably modify it just so it's a little more forgiving and gentler. Um, but yeah, I would just say like open up your Google Calendar, like whatever, if you use Notion, whatever other calendar apps, Outlook. Do people like use Outlook outside the corporate world, like for personal use? If so, I'm scared of you. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, just like write down a list of what you want to do, figure out when it will be a most the most optimal time for you to do it. Like I know job searching for me, like I need to start that in the morning and finish in the early afternoon. Um, or else I'll just be thinking about it all day and be overwhelmed or feel unmotivated by the time like 3 o'clock rolls around because everybody knows all the girlies need their horizontal time from either between 2 and 4 or 3 and 5 like those two hours are crucial even though I'm not laying down during that time I just know that like I could not like hyper focus on job searching so I would say like I said write down a list of the things that you want to do know your own timeline of your own body your soul your mind 
figure out what is the most optimal time for you to get those things knocked out and put them in a calendar and the especially the google calendar reminders will drive you crazy so you will get up and do it trust me do you have any regrets from your college years i think i already answered that one um earlier so that's gonna be the last question to answer in this q a you guys asked some great questions thank you so much i'm sorry i look crusty it's so funny that i'm wearing my um apartment like my old apartment's t-shirt if any of you guys are living in Southside Commons, shout out to Southside Commons. I lived in apartment 113 my junior year and then 326 my senior year. I, funnily enough, I got a DM from a subscriber who asked me if I lived in 113 when I was moving into 326. And I was like, yeah. And then she was like, oh my gosh, like I could tell from like the background of your vlogs, like I'm living in this apartment. I was like, that's a little scary but like love that for you thank you for letting me know after i moved out of course um but that's so funny but southside commons was a really great living experience it was so expensive but it was worth it um in my personal opinion that's the vlog hope you loved it and i will see you guys in the next one cheers wait what do i normally say i'm gonna go ahead and sign off but before i go i want to remind you guys to spread kindness and always remember that the less you wander the more you wonder i love you guys so so much all the hearts and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.